I'm Johnson Harding and this is Fashion Files. Well, it has been from the beginning for 15 years, yes, yeah. And in fact, I don't even know what the trends are, which at times can be detrimental because uh, I can design something and walk into a store that I'm doing a trunk show in and see something similar by another designer and think, crap, like, maybe I should be paying more attention to this. But it's, it's worked for me, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a non-conformist and I think it will be till the day I die. We started out very unconventionally, working with vintage clothing, redoing that, and in the beginning, silk screening on things, um, and it's evolved into something very different at this point. But yeah, we take pride in being independent. Why did you get into designing in the first place? I studied painting and drawing in university. I don't know, it's just been in my blood. I remember at three years old, rearranging my parents' living room, the furniture in their living room, and rehanging the pictures. It's just always been in me. And I love beauty. I just love beauty. It's such a thrill to me to, to meet someone that um, is unfamiliar with the product. And it, it, take a, it takes a little time occasionally to convince them to try something on. But once they commit and engage, next time I see them, they, they'll say, I've never gotten more compliments on anything I've ever worn. And it's so, so satisfying. Well, I think that probably because my mind is in the clouds most of the time. <laughs> I just, uh, and I'm inspired by everything and anything and um, and I love the idea of provoking and thinking and causing the customer to look at things in a new way, engaging. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, it happened really quickly. Within the first six months, my ex-partner Cindy Green and I both had to quit our regular jobs to focus exclusively on Libertine. Uh, and Vanity Fair was calling us within six months about doing an interview and really got the attention of Anna Wintour and Carl Lagerfeld used to come and buy everything in our studio in New York. So it really, it really touched upon something. I think, um, I don't know, it just, it, I think that people just can see the heart and the soul that goes into each piece that you do and, and appreciates it. Um, it came about from being sold at Colette, mm -hmm. and he went and buy in Paris, and he'd go buy everything that um, that Colette, that Sarah Colette would buy, and then we used to stay at the same hotel in New York, the Mercer in Soho. So I would see him, um, and we became we became you know friends in the lobby. The Chanel team walked in with Carl one morning and every single one of the Chanel team were wearing Libertine. And Cindy and I were having breakfast in the lobby. Our jaws dropped to the floor and my business manager said, you've got to go say hello to him. So we went over and introduced ourselves and I said, let's do a collaboration. Let's, or, you know, let's trade or something. And he came to the studio and it, it just happened. We, no, we always will just do two. We can really barely do two. Yeah. You know, there are ten of us that do all of this. Mm -hmm. so it's an extremely small group. Um, and it's hard to keep up. We also feel like who needs that many clothes? Jesus I Christ. I agree. Two, two seasons a year is plenty. Perfect. And our Libertine lady is, um, is worldly. She's cultured. She has everything. She buys everyone. She knows everything. She reads everything. She collects art. And just wants something that separates her from the rest of her gang. And, uh, and Libertine often fills the bill. Visual artist, probably. Yeah. Or a lawyer. My lawyer tells me I should be a lawyer. Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's and quite I think the I would, difference. I think I'd love it. I always, always fight for the underdog. I think because I was an underdog as a child, and um, I love the idea of, of being a lawyer. I take a nap every single day. I get to the office at 6 o'clock, I leave at 10.15, eat a really early light lunch, and at 11 o'clock take a 45 minute nap and go back to work and have a whole, a whole other day. Obsessed with right now, rescuing dogs and doing everything I can to help that is always something I'm obsessed with.